सो गुड टू सी यू एंड कंग्रेचुलेशन सर आई टोल्ड यू सर सर ये सारे रिकॉर्ड्स तोड़ेगी आई टोल्ड यू ना सर सो वट डू यू हैव टू से सर लाइक सम थोड़ा कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स मुझे भी चाहिए सर कंग्रेचुलेशन ऑन गेसिंग इट फर्स्ट सो सो वील स्टार्ट विद रामचरण भाई सर प्लीज टेल मी ये एक ना कुछ वो पोकिंग पोकिंग चलता है है ना हाँ वॉट वॉट इज इट वॉट इज इट एंड वाई डू वी डू इट लाइक यू बिन बॉदरिंग सर एंड हाउ वो क्यों हो रहा है ऐसा दोनों नहीं नहीं आप नहीं आप तो सबसे आगे हो सर हेलो एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग आपका जवाब क्या बोलो मेरे को तो टिकलिंग क्या बोलते हिंदी में गुदगुदी गुदगुदी नहीं आता है सर अच्छा और फील भी नहीं होता हाँ सिर्फ इनको आता है ओके तारक भाई एक बार बताइएगा उनको आता है कि नहीं आता है नहीं आता है आता है गुदगुदी ऑफ स्क्रीन आता है वील वील डेफिनेटली टॉक अबाउट दिस गुदगुदी लेकिन लेस एंड जेलमेन बॉक्स ऑफिस पे जो गुदगुदी मची है ऐसी गुदगुदी आज तक नहीं बची है एंड दैट टू ग्लोबल लेवल पे तो गड़ा साहब प्लीज मैं आपसे जानना चाहूंगा हाउ डिड दिस थिंग हैपन लाइक प्लीज मुझे आज बता दीजिए सीक्रेट कि इसकी शुरुआत कैसे हुई राजा मौली सर से हमारे सुपर से या दनाया सर से कहें से कहाँ से ये शुरू हुआ था सब सबसे पहले तो मैं सबको थैंक यू बोलूँगा कि राजा मौली जी जूनियर एन टी आर रामचरण जी धनया जी और कार्तिकीय जी सब लोग हमारी इनविटेशन पे आए हमारी डील की शुरुआत धनया जी से हुई थी मैंने पहले भी बोला है शायद आपने सुना होगा और इन्होंने मदद की कि ये फिल्म कैसे भी करके मेरे पास आए और राजा मौली जी तक हम पहुँचे कार्तिकीय ने बड़ा रोल निभाया इसमें यस कार्तिक ने बोला लेकिन कार्तिक ने बड़ा रोल निभाया हम दोनों के बीच में अंडरस्टैंडिंग करवाने के लिए और मुझे याद है वो थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च को हम लोग रात को बारह बजे तक बैठे थे तभी एग्रीमेंट साइन किया था तो धनया जी थैंक यू वेरी मच धनया जी डी बी बैनर के ओनर हैं और इन्होंने बड़ी बड़ी फिल्में बनाई हैं आगे भी बना रहे और मुझे लगता है कि आगे भी मुझे हैंडल करने देंगे आई एम श्योर सर सर आपने बोला थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च को ये साइन हुई थी तो मतलब आने वाले न जाने कितने सारे फिनेंशियल ईयर्स जो हैं सर आपने उनमें उथल पुथल मचा दी है पूरी अब वॉट आर वी लुकिंग एट सर वॉट इज दैट फिगर दैट वी आर लुकिंग एट बिकॉज थाउजेंड क्रॉस हो गया ना एकदम ऐसे ही अभी कहाँ तक जाने वाली है सर दिस इज जस्ट द बिगिनिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के लिए मैं मेरे पार्टनर संजय जी संजय छत्तर और अमिताभ लोड़ा जी संभालते हैं Right. और उन्होंने अच्छा डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन किया मुझे लगता है कि रामचरण जी जु, एन, जूनियर एन टी आर और राजा मौली जी खुश है उनके डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन में कोई शक नहीं है और ये ब, ब, आ, वैसे भी इतनी बड़ी हो गई है और रोज चल रही है तो मुझे नहीं लगता है कि अभी इसके लिए कुछ बोलना है अभी नंबर देखते रहेंगे अभी तो थाउजेंड ही हुए हैं ओ हो 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 अभी देखते जाइए अभी तो शुरुआत है आगे बड़ी बात है सर दिस वॉन्स फॉर यू एज आई सेट यू नो आर फेवरेट स्टोरी टेलर आई यू काइंड ऑफ रिलीव लाइक Of course, I did not see that pressure when we when when we spoke the last time also. But are you kind of relieved now when when the results are out or ab itna saara pyar mil raha hai? What do you have to say on that, sir? Yeah, uh, absolutely relieved because uh, uh, because the film was getting postponed uh, so many times and uh, because of the pandemic and we were very unsure about uh, the occupancy of the theaters. I mean, from the audience side, I had I never had a doubt. Uh, from the audience side uh, i always believed that once the film is out they are going to come to the theaters from but from the uh, health department side we didn't know suddenly the theater the governments were giving orders to shut it down completely 50% 25% 75% 75%. so we didn't know what was coming when so that was a uh, bit of uh, uh, <laughs> anxious uh, anxious moments for not just for me for all the films and once uh, all the theaters uh, uh, open uh, rrr brought the audience back to the theaters that yeah. is the biggest achievement for me uh, right and we can see that uh, hidden in that smile raja mauli sir ke chehre pe jo is samay tarak bhai this one's for you you know we we've, we've talked about uh, uh, the action we've talked about the emotion we've talked about the songs there's another thing the the very important thing and that is it's a note to our freedom fighters एक बहुत ही खास चीज कुछ ऐसे लोग जिनको आप फोर फ्रंट पे लेके आए उन्होंने बहुत अच्छे काम किए थे लेकिन शायद उनके बारे में बहुत सारे लोगों को नहीं पता था वॉट डू यू हैव टू से ऑन दैट सर सी दैट्स द आई थिंक इट्स इट्स 
There's so many stories hidden in our culture, in our country, that these stories need to be told to the coming generations. He was one of the very few lucky people who's read them, who's heard them. Me or Charan are lucky people, a few lucky people that we know them. And I think it is our duty, our responsibility to pass them to the next generation. And films like RRR and directors, filmmakers like Raj Mauli, when they make films like this, not only are they making us go down the memory lane, but they're giving it to the next generation also. So I really feel, me or Charan, we feel really blessed to have been a part of this, this, this great movie called RRR where we had the chance to pass it forward to right. the next generation. Right. So I'm really thankful, very, very, very grateful to right. Raj Mauli and very grateful to the, the audiences of our country. They've proved once again that, then, that when they love something, when they like something, they don't take it into their heart, but they take it and put it on their head. Absolutely. And it's not just in our country, sir. I mean, I'm globally, and I've heard that people are coming from other galaxies. And they go to the ticket offices, and they go, RRR, RRR, this type of thing. Sir, we won't be surprised if we get to see a jadu at the box office, you know. I also want RRR. Ram Charan, sir, this one's for you. Please, just one thing. You know, this, this movie, as I said, action, hai, drama, hai, emotion, hai. it takes all of us, like the cine lovers, ek alag high pe, you know, it leaves you there. Jab film khatm hoti hai. For you, the movie has ended, the process has ended. What do you have to say on that? I think uh, it's been a long journey for us from 2018 onwards to 21. Jitna humne enjoy kiya ye movie banane mein, I think when I sneaked into Galaxy Theatre and Thanks to Raj Garu in the South, he sneaked me into another theater. I truly saw the reactions of people. Like you said, we danced, we had emoted beautifully, and, and we, he had a master storyteller. Right. But the audience in North have danced with us, emoted with us, felt bad for us, and again, we fought, we rose or revolt, revolted. Together, I felt it was not like the audience and me. It was just become a one unit when I saw in the theater. I called Rajmoli sir immediately and I said, they were so particular saying, when you rose the scene, they also rose along. When you calm down, he, they also calmed down. When you wanted them to dance, they danced. I think I made RRR or I was part of RRR. So I didn't make, sorry. I was part of RRR for one reason, just to see India's reaction and I saw it and these numbers definitely matter, but the reactions I saw in Galaxy and another theater, it will uh, be with me and stay with me forever. Thank you so much, India. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, to this entire wonderful team. Gada Saab, thank you so much. Danaya, sir, thank you so much for, for uh, backing this project, for making this film. Raja Mali, sir, thank you so much. Tarak Bhai, Ram Charan Bhai, you know, it's such a pleasure. Film dekhna alag baat hai, lekin yaan aap log ke saath khade ho na hi, you know, apne aap mein baut badi baat hai. Thank you so much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's over to you. To jis jis ke paas sawal hai, itne saare haath abhi se khade ho gai. Hi, Rajamali sir, over here, towards your left. Firstly, congratulations to the team on the humongous success. It deserves every penny that it's earning. My question to you is, sir, the action set pieces in RRR, especially the interval one, is probably the best that I have seen in Indian cinema. And if we look at all the action scenes of the film, there is a story running in it. So how, how is it for you to design these thrilling action sequences that are so original with a story running in the backdrop? And could you tell us about your vision for the interval sequence in specific? Um, uh, well, uh, I have uh, I told this many times. It is, uh, of course, visual grandeur is what attracts the audiences and which makes them uh, keep the uh, the visuals are what is attached to their mind. But uh, to keep them in their heart, it needs an emotion running underneath it. For not just the interval sequence, for any action sequence, uh, it is very, very important. And in this case, we have seen uh, Tarak or Bhim undergo pain and humiliation for a long, long time. That's a... 
classic screenwriter's job. You show uh, an actor how strong he is, and then you you uh, go him through the emotions of humiliation, pain, uh, uh, yearning to uh, to do what he has set out to do for, and you stretch it long enough for you stretch it for like almost one and a half hour, and then you show the unleash his power. That needs to be like uh, like uh, super super exciting. Um, yeah, so that is what is going behind my mind when I was writing. So when uh, when Beam or Tarak unleashes his its his power, you know, it sh the visual has to be something that the audience should it should remain with their in their hearts for a very very long time. So so that's how we came up with that uh, uh, sequence. And was it conscious decision to make him? you know, jump with the animals because he is called Young Tiger in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana and that is something that reflects in the scenes, be it his intro scene or the interval scene. Uh, no, uh, I mean, uh, uh, people call him uh, lovingly Young Tiger, but uh, his image, <laughs> his image is not what I had in mind. Uh, the character of Beam, like I uh, told you, uh, he's so powerful physically but uh, emotionally, he's like a child. Uh, so, so that was what I was banking upon rather than the image. Yeah. Um, Raja Modi, sir, here, right here, again, same space. Um, I want to ask you something. So I was back in Calcutta when the movie released. I, uh, my five-year-old nephew actually walked up to me. He doesn't know much to say. But he said, I want to watch this film Matlab, in Bengali. And he's like, Tune mil, tum mil kya hai ho unse? and he's seen, he's constantly watching all your video interviews and stuff. From a five-year-old, and I watch it with my parents, who are 60 plus, how do you tap into the emotions? And how do you make sure that whatever you make caters to all ages, like we've loved it, our parents have loved it, our nephews and nieces have loved it. How do you do that with each film of yours? Uh, well, I don't write for all age groups. I write only for children, and I believe that every person has a child in them. Let it be your 65-year-old uh, 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 aunt or grandmother or your five-year-old nephew. Everyone has a child in them, and I, I write for them. And I have a question to both of you, because um, this is one film which you can watch over and over again. And I watch it with different sets of people. And uh, I still want to watch it one more time. Bahubali was divided into two parts. So we knew that when the first part was ending, there's an eagerness or a want to watch the second part. This we knew that there was no second part, but we still want another part. Did you guys feel it that there should be another movie or maybe something where you guys come up with something else maybe? I'm pretty sure that if it doesn't make RRR, you're going to kill him for sure. He's need, he needs to make RRR too. There needs to be a conclusion to this also. So that's why, you know, I was, I was just talking to one of the journalists. And I, I don't know how I said it, but I said RRR franchise. <laughs> so hopefully it becomes true and he should make RRR too. Right? I mean, I'm... <clears throat> I'm firstly so happy and glad RR1 released <laughs> post-COVID. Of course, we'll all be so delighted again uh, if Rajmali sir thinks of RR2. I hope your wish comes true, brother. Uh, Rajamali sir, uh, sir, plan you right? plan? Plan Actually, you should ask him. We're ready for shooting. We'll go to the plan. Sir, Rajamali 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 sir, uh, they got out of RRR pretty RRR one pretty quickly. I am still uh, still trying to cool off from from the heat generated from RRR one. So uh, let it uh, cool down. And of course, uh, for me, it would be a great pleasure. Uh, not because what RRR will do uh, at the box office, because but just because I'll have more time to spend with my brothers. No, that, that would be more exciting for me. Uh, but yeah, let's let, let uh, time unravel what will happen. Uh, Rajamali sir, to your right. Hi. Uh, Rajamali sir, uh, all the accolades, all the appreciation, everything that a movie is getting, it deserves that and so much more. So congratulations to the entire team for that. 
but uh, my question is also Baubali 2 uh, makes 1800 crores go globally now RRR makes 1000 crores uh, globally so when you achieve these summits and when you are making a movie it almost feels like you are scaling a new summit every time so when you're going to make the next movie is even though as an artist you're concentrating creatively is this also a mountain of expectations in the third movie that it cannot come below these benchmarks that you have set for yourself? Uh, well, uh, let me uh, try to put it this way. Uh, I always said that uh, what we can do is give our 100% to the project and make it in the best possible way that it can be made. The numbers are not in our hands. That is the love and appreciation from the audience. That can be uh, uh, affected by many factors, by the holidays, by the release, by the distribution, how strong the distributor is, how strong the exhibitor is. Uh, so many other factors contribute to the, the numbers. The only uh, thing that, uh, that we can gauge is the love and appreciation of the, appreciation of the audiences. So uh, I won't to take too much into the uh, numbers. Of course, the numbers are very important because that that directly relates to how many people has uh, seen the film. So that is important. I'm not saying that's not important, but more is the appreciation from the different sets of audiences. If you talk about Bahubali 2 and uh, RRR, no, of course, there is a lot of appreciation from all, uh, all audiences, but what is significantly different that I noticed this time is the number of Western audiences that are liking the film RRR. Uh, I mean, for, for the, even for the journalists to write about Bahubali 2, it took some time to, you know, to look at the numbers and do that. But for RRR, the moment it released, within four or five days, articles in Deadline, Variety, New York Times coming up, and the number of tweets that are coming from the, you know, the Western audiences, in, particularly in US, that I never expected. For Bahubali 2, I didn't expect it from Japan. For RRR, I didn't expect from uh, uh, from the uh, Westerners in US. No, this is the kind of uh, thing that I take into heart. So this is the kind of uh, thing that uh, say, okay, this this many number of people are liking our film. So next time when I make a film, I have to keep that in mind. I shouldn't let it bother me. I shouldn't let it weigh me down. But I should think of it that there are wider audiences that are uh, listening to your story. So, so I should keep that in mind. Not the numbers, but the love of appreciation from different audiences. Yes. Well said, sir. Thank uh, you. Tarak and uh, Ram Charan, uh, my, uh, last time when I interviewed you all, you all had told that you all uh, completely uh, give yourselves to the vision of Raja Mulisa and that's only how an actor can do and that's why the years didn't matter dedicated to the project. But now that RR has come and he, the catharsis is there of achieving so much, would you all ever be able as actors to again give three, four years to one project again? Absolutely. <clears throat> of course, to Rajmoli, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, see, see, it is, if a film takes that kind of a time to be made, obviously. You know, that's our duty as actors to, to be as dedicated as our filmmakers. Of course, he's trained us, not only for him, for any d director who has a great script. Of course, we will. Uh, hi, hi, this is hi. Sana here from Indian Express. Firstly, for Ram and uh, Tarak, me, Dadari, performance, Maku Chala Nachanditi. <laughs> I got my colleague to translate that for me. Amazing performance, Thank you. both of you. And I think you guys justify the superstar tag that comes with you. Uh, tell me what does superstardom and the tag means to you and do you think post RRR will that change for both of you? I think superstardom for me is uh, waking up at 5, <laughs> reaching the location at 7, giving your shot at 7.30, going home, spend one hour with your family, hit the gym, sleep and do the same thing again. <laughs> I don't think this is, you won't achieve the superstardom unless you're in this beautiful loop and uh, it's, it might sound boring, but this boring activity might lead you to success. I don't know any other way. Of course, they have master storytellers to take care of rest of the things. 
as a person, I feel uh, discipline will take you to a superstardom and sustain you there. Cut, copy, paste. <laughs> I would like to copy, paste on that. But again, you know, see, superstardom is... See, these are all taglines. Like how he has a tagline called Mega Power Star. I have a fans give you this tagline of junior, I mean like a uh, young tiger. So superstardom again is another tagline. You know, for me, you are actors. And for an actor is exactly what he needs to do. Day in and day out, repeatedly. So that's what it is. It's, it's, it's discipline, which will always, you know, which will remain the same. Also, the magic that of RRR is that we keep on conversing even now, after around a week that I've watched the film, we keep discussing. Uh, both of you tell me, if you had to pick your favorite scenes from the film, what would that be? I think my favorite scene is the interval episode, where the whole misunderstanding happens between Beam and Ram and uh, how it ends as an interval. That is my favorite scene, I think. Yeah, I love that uh, scene too. It's 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 when both the characters are completely out of their 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 uh, disguise, yeah. and they're there as you know Beam and Ram. So I think that really brings out the actual collision of the movie. All right, we'll take one last question, right? Rajmoli yeah. Garu, welcome. Rajmoli Garu, NTR and Ram Charan, Lipika Varmaya, welcome to Mumbai with uh, a, a stupendous success. Rajmoli Garu, I want to ask you, you are an exuberant storyteller, but would you uh, mind if we tag you with a <clears throat> exuberant uh, fantasy storyteller also? Because it's a very difficult job, you know. What would as, you like as to long as elaborate? You, as long as you like my film, ma'am, you can put any tag on me. I don't <laughs> mind it. <laughs> and, you know, comparison is inevitable. The film has been compared to Bahubali. And uh, both the films are, of course, A-grade films. Which film is closer to your heart? Uh, I mean, it, it will be very difficult to judge, ma'am, because uh, at this point of time, I am so attached to RRR. So, my question, whatever you ask, not just between Bahubali 2 and RRR, if you ask me what is my best film of all my filmography, or if you ask me what is my favorite film in all the films I have seen from my childhood, I will say RRR, because I am so emotionally attached attach it to now. Maybe six months from now, eight months from now, once the euphoria completely dies down, then I will be able to give a better uh, uh, right answer. But for now, it is all RRR for me. NTR, we hear that your uh, next ac action film is Kortala Siva. Would you like to tell us a little bit about it? Uh, well, I think... So it's uh, too early. Yeah, it's, it's, it's too early. <laughs> so right now it's about RRR. So I would like to stick to talk about RRR. And yes, as you mentioned, that's going to be my next film. But in the coming days, I'm going to give you all the details. About Ramcharan that walks away with all the accolades. What do you have to say? No, ma'am, I don't believe that at all. Not even for a uh, second. Uh, I think we both have excelled uh, beautifully and Tarak was fantastic. I don't think I've enjoyed uh, working in a film, in any other film but RRR. And what I'll take back from RRR is my journey with Beam, my journey with Tarak, which I'll never, ever forget. Thank you, Raj Moligaru, for giving me that opportunity. I love him to bits and it will always remain the same. People, we are running out of time, I know. And uh, before we wrap up, I'd like to thank uh, uh, the wonderful people from, from uh, the media fraternity here in Mumbai. Uske alawa, the southern states, waha se jitne sare media ke karmiyo ne humko cover kiya is film ko itna sara pyar diya. We also have some wonderful, wonderful people from Delhi, Kolkata, Indore, Ahmedabad, Jaipur, Bengaluru, jo sab yaha pe aay hoon hai. I hope you guys had a great time with this amazing, amazing cast and crew of the movie RRR, ladies and gentlemen. And let me tell you, Thousand Crores is just a beginning. Uh, it's time for a quick photo op and then is uh, Shamko Aage Badate. Hai.